Well, it's been anemic, and indeed, many people have been expecting, the markets have been expecting a big stimulus program coming out of the People's Bank of China, the central bank. It simply hasn't emerged. So every now and again, the markets around the world take off in anticipation of it. But every response from the Chinese government appears to be somewhat disappointing and subdued. At what point do they say, enough's enough? We've got to actually borrow some money and put some serious stimulus into this economy. Yeah, I think uh, the government is on the verge of rolling out uh, a more stimulus uh, a program. Uh, in fact, uh, given the inflation outlook, the PBOC could cut interest rate uh, and the reserve requirements ratio quite quickly. Uh, in addition, we have seen uh, that uh, uh, the property sector uh, start to have more troubles again. The second the largest property developer now is uh, on the verge of defaulting its dollar uh, debt. Uh, so without uh, uh, decisive policy intervention, uh, indeed, uh, the Chinese economic recovery could falter uh, in the third quarter as well. Well, the Bureau of Statistics today says out of, uh, out of China that they believe this contraction is likely to be temporary, consumer demand will improve in July. So, in other words, they're basically saying there's not too much to see here. We think things will get back to normal as this year progresses. Well, that's the official view, but uh, people in the market are quite concerned about uh, China's uh, sluggish economic recovery. Uh, you know, if you look at consumption, uh, the, so far, the data has been disappointing on a month-on-month basis. Uh, China's retail sales disappointed the last month on a uh, year-on-year basis. Uh, China's retail sales data have been consistently below a market expectation. Uh, given, you know, there's uh, wage cuts uh, in state-owned enterprises, uh, local governments, uh, uh, it's very difficult to think that uh, uh, China's consumption can rebound strongly. So this then requires some kind of policy to uh, raise people's uh, uh, income, uh, you know, rather than use the Western policy to give people consumption coupons, perhaps the government could uh, uh, waive, uh, uh, you know, tax, in- tax payments uh, uh, for people. You know, this is another way and a quick way to raise people's income in the short term. So just just one aspect of that, if there is deflation in China right now, is that likely to be exported to the world via cheaper manufactured goods? If basically producer prices are also down, so business inputs are well down, could that translate that suddenly we see cheaper manufactured goods coming to the rest of the rest of the world? Indeed, that's a possibility. The renminbi has depreciated towards 7.2 today. And given Chinese prices are falling, especially PPI has been uh, uh, entrenched uh, deflation uh, for a while. Uh, China's exports uh, could become cheaper. But this may not be a bad news to the rest of the world, especially in the Western countries, uh, as the US, uh, even Australia, are suffering from reasonably high uh, inflation. So, uh, you know, uh, China's uh, less expensive uh, exports uh, perhaps will also help reduce uh, inflationary pressure in the uh, rest of the world. I'll tell you, it's going to be fascinating to watch this as this year pans out and just exactly what response comes from the Chinese government. Cities, Li Gang Lu, always good to chat to you and many thanks for your time today. Thank you.